October 9th presidential election was held amid serious obstacles to the realization of citizens' right to freedom of association, expression and assembly, reads a joint statement of the OEC ODIHR and OEC Parliamentary Assembly's observation mission. There was not fear election atmosphere. On election day there was interference in the elections, said the special coordinator of the OEC chairman, Michelle Voisin. About 300 observers from the OECPA and the ODIHR observed the elections at 1,143 polling stations, that is more than a quarter of the total number. On election day, there were serious problems indicating serious shortcomings in compliance with Azerbaijan's OEC commitments for democratic elections, he said. He also noted a number of positive moments. Ten candidates participated in the election which testifies pluralism. The CEC was well prepared and organized elections. There were a lot of observers, ordinary citizens and representatives of political parties. 72% of voters participated in the election, what meets the European election turnout. As for problems, the access of candidates to the media was limited, which was one of the obstacles to fair pre-election atmosphere. Observers noted problems in the counting of votes on 58% of the polling stations and serious violation took place in the 11% of the polling stations. The OCPA representative Doris Barnett observed at seven polling stations in Baku and Sumgayet and noted the limited access of the candidates to the media and the lack of debate. Every politician and activist should use the freedom of assembly, expression and other freedoms. She called on the authorities to solve the problems in these areas as soon as possible. The head of the OEC ODIHR mission, Tana de Zulieta, said that the elections do not include only voting, therefore for six months the observer mission was monitoring a campaign to assess the legislation and campaigning. According to the observer's mission, the voting process on 19% of polling stations was poor or very poor. The most serious concern was what happened after the votes in the vote count. Thus, on 58% of polling stations, counting was on bad or very bad level. The CC pre-approved 152 campaign venues for candidate rallies and authorities interpreted this list as exhaustive, thereby limiting citizens' freedom of assembly. Given that political contestants' opportunity to reach out to voters is limited to the formal 22-day campaign period, this interpretation further restricted their ability to campaign. When asked why the statement of the ODIHR, the OEC and the Parliamentary Assembly differs greatly from the estimates of the European Parliament and the PAC, Voisin said that the mission of the latter was small and conducted a short-term monitoring, while the ODIHR and OEC conducted a long-term monitoring and covered the whole country. Then the press conference turned into a chaos when pro-government journalists began to shout, accusing the OEC of bias. Instead of asking questions, they began to accuse members of the mission. In turn, Zulieta could say that the restriction of fundamental freedoms, intimidation of candidates and voters are serious violations and means that Azerbaijan does not comply with OEC commitments. The words caused a new wave of outrage of pro-government journalists who began to shout and prevented the press conference.